first book we're gonna read is called Wonder Pets Join the Circus. The Wonder Pets Join the Circus. It was the last day of school before break and all the kids were heading out the door. Linny the guinea pig, Turtle Tuck, and Ming Ming Duckling were sitting patiently in their cages. The kids are on vacation and won't be coming to school for a while, explained Linny. What will we do while the kids are away, wondered Ming Ming. Just then, the Wonder Pets heard a rumbling noise. They ran to the window and saw a colorful train passing by. Ooh, what a pretty train, said Tuck. Full of animals, said Ming Ming. Wonder Pets, said Linny. That's just not any train. That's a circus train. Let's build a special fly boat and fly over there, suggested Linny. That way we can see the animals up close. The Wonder Pets sing as they built their circus boat. What's gonna work? Teamwork. What's gonna work? Teamwork. Linny, Tuck, and Ming Ming hopped in their circus boat and took off for the circus train. This is the greatest circus boat on earth, shouted Ming Ming. The Wonder Pets swooped down beside the train to get a better view. In the windows, they saw lots of different animals, all practicing their circus routines, and the penguin ringmaster, too. The Wonder Pets noticed a little lion cub walking on top of the last car. Suddenly, the train jolted, and the little lion cub slipped to the edge. The lion cub, yelled Tuck. He's going to fall. This is serious, said Ming Ming. Linny, Tuck, and Ming Ming knew they had to save the little lion cub. Let's hold hands and make a chain, said Linny. Then we can swing the lion cub onto the circus boat, said Tuck. Using teamwork, the Wonder Pets got the little lion cub into the circus boat. My name is Cubby, the lion cub said. Thanks for saving me, Wonder Pets. No problem, little coveroo. Saving little animals is just what we do, Ming Ming chimed in. The penguin ringmaster thought the Wonder Pets were so special that he asked them to join the circus. The Wonder Pets followed the train to the circus tent. As they flew, they sang, Wonder Pets, Wonder Pets, we're on our way to join the circus on our holiday. We're not too tough and we're not too big, but somehow we got a circus gig. Go Wonder Pets! Yay! When they arrived at the circus tent, Cubby, Baby Panda, and Baby Monkey showed the Wonder Pets around. What a sight to see. It was time for the big show. Linny, Tuck, and Ming Ming took their places in the circus rings. Linny was spinning plates on stalks of celery. Tuck was a clown doing lots of silly things to make the audience laugh. Ming Ming was twirling gracefully on a silk ribbon high in the air. Cubby, Baby Panda, and Baby Monkey couldn't wait to see the show. The three little animals climbed to the very top of the high wire platform to get a better view. But it wasn't a safe place to be. Oh no! Just as the Wonder Pets were finishing their acts, the baby animals slipped from the platform. They were dangling high above the stage, holding onto a thin rope. Help! Help! cried the baby animals. The Wonder Pets looked up from the stage and saw the three baby animals in trouble. They began to sing. Linny, Chuck, and Ming Ming too. We're Wonder Pets and we'll help you. The Wonder Pets sprang into action and raced to the top of the trapeze. Linny remembered how they saved Cubby when he was slipping off the train. The Wonder Pets held hands and made a chain. Come on, Wonder Pets, let's swing the baby animals to safety, encouraged Linny. Once they were all on the ground, the penguin ringmaster rushed over to the Wonder Pets and the baby animals. Let's give a big circus cheer to Linny, Tuck, and Ming Ming too, said the penguin ringmaster. Hip hip hooray, cheered all the animals. Then everyone celebrated with some celery. You should perform that teamwork act every night, said the Penguin Ringmaster. Thanks, Mr. Penguin Ringmaster Basso, said Ming Ming. But we'd rather go back to the classroom and keep saving baby animals, Tuck said. You can hire Cubby, Baby Panda, and Baby Monkey for your circus, suggested Lenny. That's a great idea, said the Penguin Ringmaster. I've got a good feeling about these critters. 
The Wonder Pets hurried back to the schoolhouse. As they got closer, Tuck and Ming Ming began to talk excitedly. Ah, home sweet home, said Tuck. I love my tank. And I love my swing, added Ming Ming. Winnie smiled. The Wonder Pets would never forget their amazing circus adventure, but it was good to be home.